One of the founding fathers of the American Hockey League, Maurice Podoloff was known as a pioneer whose vision and dedication helped to build the foundation for a league that continues to thrive generations later. A Ukrainian immigrant at age six, Podoloff and his family settled in New Haven, Connecticut. Together with his father Abraham and his brothers Nathan and Jacob, Maurice built the New Haven Arena in 1926 and created the New Haven Eagles hockey team as a charter member of the Canadian American Hockey League. In 1936, the Can-Am League joined forces with the International League to form what would soon be known as the American Hockey League, and Podoloff was elected its first president. He brought stability to the AHL in difficult times during World War II and organized the first AHL All-Star Game as a wartime fundraiser. He also had a hand in modernizing the league through rule changes and innovations. It is so appropriate in this, our 75th anniversary season, that Morris Podoloff, the first president of the American Hockey League, is being inducted into our Hall of Fame. One of the founding members of the league and a man who served for 16 years as president of the AHL Morris is one of the true builders that got us where we are today. I'm deeply honored to be following in his footsteps. Podoloff served as president of the AHL until 1952, including several years in which he also ran the NBA as its first president. He was enshrined into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1974, and the Maurice Podoloff Trophy is awarded each year to the NBA's most valuable player. Morris Podoloff was an extraordinary sports league executive. Not only he was he the president of the AHL and the commissioner of the NBA, but for a period of some years he held both roles at the same time. Uh, he was a man of principle, making sure that gambling had no place in our league. Uh, he was a man of, I think, early understanding about the importance of sports for social causes. In 1942, he organized, I know, a, uh, an all-star game in hockey to benefit the Red Cross during the war. Uh, but I get a kick out of thinking about the fact that when I saw the first NBA Constitution and Bylaws, the word hockey was barely crossed out as he incorporated the learning from his hockey experience into the NBA. So we're, we owe a debt of gratitude and we congratulate the Podolo family and the AHL on the induction of Morris Podolo.